The one all praise, honor, and glory go to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Basham Yahweh Shai, Basham Rukhakadash. Double honor unto the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone that grew well and that told us this truth. Salutations to the sincere Achim out there that are doing the work, you know, on the highways and hedges, and that have faith in Yahweh, Basham Yahweh Shai. And to the few sincere sisters out there, you know, Shalom. Yeah, man, uh, I just wanted to jump straight in something because I was uh, reading and. This is something that, um, let me go to, uh, it's reading in First Peter. I was like, let me just press record, man, because this is a very beautiful, a, be a very beautiful thing, you know, um, that I uh, read. Let me just start a little bit. Let me just start with verse 1, then lead up to, uh, you know, down to verse, uh, Let me see where I can jump in. Basically, around verse uh, 5. But let me jump up. Uh, 1 Peter 1 and uh, 1. And, and Peter, an apostle of Yahweh Shai Masiach, to the strangers scattered through uh, out, uh, Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia. And the strangers uh, are, are talking about, you know, the Israelite foreigners, man, which are scattered around. Uh, the four corners of the earth in this day. The same thing with James 101, you know, to, to the diaspora, you know, the, let me jump in there. James 1 and 1. James, a servant of Yahweh and of the Lord Yahweh Shai Masiah, to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting, you know, and, and scattered goes into diaspora. And you see, and it is uh, scattering and dispersion of Israelite dispersed among foreign nations. So y'all Christians don't get your, uh, you know, so-called Christians don't get your hopes up high because this is only for the children of Israel, man, you know? And even if I jump into the entomology real quick, in the entomology of diaspora, it goes down to, um, you know, let me just go here. Uh, let me uh, let's lock it. Uh, in 1825, in reverence to Moravian Protestants, uh, Protestants in 1869, in reference to the dispersion of the Jews from Greek diaspora, dispersion from diaspirang uh, to scatter about, disperse from dia about across. You know, so here in Hebrew, uh, you go if you go. Further, the Greek word was used in the Septuagint, in Deuteronomy 28 and 25. The Hebrew word for it is Galuth, exile. The earlier word for it in English was uh, was Latinate, dispersion. And you go, let me see. It also, you know, dispersion, the Jews, the diaspora, scattering. You know, here the diaspora, the body of Jews, or so called, you know, it's about the children of Israel, uh, communities outside Palestine or modern Israel, and dispersion, the, the diaspora, dis the dispersion or spreading of something that was originally lo localized as a people, language, or culture. And here it goes into the dispersion of the Jews outside Israel from the destruction of the temple in Jerusalem in uh, 578. Uh, 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 86 BC when they were exiled to Babylonia upon the present time. So it goes into the the diaspora, the spreading of, you know, there's basically this Israelite resident in Gentile countries, which are scattered abroad. And you have two different types of Gentiles. You have like the Hellenists, you know, and those are the Greek uh, speaking Jews, or basically you can compare it with. Uh, us in foreign lands, we are not speaking our own tongue. Yeah, now to the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahushai in the lands of our captivities, you know, we are now being brought to remembrance of who our true power is, Yahweh Basham Yahushai, and who we are, the Israelites, you know, the 12 tribes of Israel, Yashara, and we are, uh, you know, uh, giving back our language, man, bit by bit, you know. So um, let me jump uh, back. To the book of uh, 
Peter, First Peter 1 and 2, elect according to the foreknowledge of Yahweh the Father through sanctification in the Spirit. This ain't for no, you know, uh, heathen uh, people, man. So, unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Yahweh Shai Masiach, grace unto you and peace be multiplied. Because Yahweh Shai, he died for his people and for, uh, you know, none else. Let me go to that uh, real quick. Acts 5 and 30. The power of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shai, whom ye uh, slew and hanged on a tree. Him had Yahweh exalted with his right hand to be a prince. So he was exalted by the Heavenly Father to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance. So repentance, you turn back to Israel and forgiveness of sins. You see? And we are his witnesses of these things. And so is also the Holy Spirit whom Yahweh had given to them that obey him. And that's the, the whole thing, man. You know, if you do the things that are of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, you know, you will get the Spirit, man. The Spirit will, will, will be with you and guide you further so you can be uh, growing in this truth, man. So back to First Peter 1, uh, verse um, 3. Blessed be the power and father of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Masiach, which according to his abundant mercy had begotten us, had begotten us again. You know, so now we are back. Let me go uh, to the word begotten. It's, it has begotten. It goes into uh, Anachanao, probably butchering the, the Greek. It's to produce again, be born again, born anew. Metaphorically, to have one's mind changed so that he uh, he lives a new life and one conform to the will of Yahweh. And that's what you become. You know, we need to be born again. You know? So that is the grace and mercy that the Mosai has put upon the ones he foreknew to come back unto him, man. True Yahweh Shai, if you read about if, uh, Ephesians, you know, the second chapter, you know, you see that, uh, you know, the Israelite foreigners and Israel, we both got the chance to uh, be, uh, you know, of course, cleansed through the blood of Yahweh Shai, you know, of uh, our, uh, our, our sins, and we could come back to the Heavenly Father with a clean sheet, basically, man. Of course, you know, now the sacrifice that the most I requires is us being obedient, man. Because the most I would rather have uh, you to be obedient than to have, uh, you know, you sacrificing. Because if you sacrifice, you have done something wrong, man. So the most I rather would have you to be, you know, obedient, man. So, um, first Peter 1, uh, first, uh, to continue verse 3. So, let me start at uh, the beginning. Blessed be the power and father of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Masiach, which according to his abundant mercy had begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Yahweh Shai from the dead to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled and that faded not away reserved in heaven for you and this is something that the most High ain't gonna uh, uh, take away man he gave us this mercy man and this is the beauty that after all the wickedness that we have done still the most High has uh, uh, you know has uh, great mercy for us because you know he loves his people man but like a, a, a father he's gonna whoop your behind if you go off man you need to think that he gave his only begotten son to be crucified so that the rest of his uh, people could come back unto him. That's a very, uh, 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 that's a very, uh, how can I say that? I don't want to do it any, uh, you know, I don't want to 
basically say it in the in a way that it will fall short to the mercy of the heavenly father is great it's just very merciful you know very merciful of the heavenly father so that's why we need to be thankful every day man and do our best uh, to please Yahweh Basham Yahushai, man. Because you have people that think, oh, if I can do whatever I want in crucifying uh, uh, Yahweh Shai afresh, basically, man. And you can't do that, man. Yahweh Shai went on the cross once to cleanse us. And now it's, uh, uh, you know, up to you uh, through the Spirit to do your best to not disappoint Yahweh Basham Yahushai, man. You know, to be better than these heathen. So, because they, but yeah, just, just let me just uh, go on. They're already done, man. We need to uh, give diligence to make a calling and election sure, man, and do the things that are acceptable in the eyes of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. So, to continue, to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled that fate in another way reserved in heaven for you, who are kept by the power of Yahweh through faith, Unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time, you know. And this is uh, uh, also now, um, you know, it's high time to wake up out of sleep, man. You know, it's high time to wake up out of sleep because our salvation is nigher than when we believe. Is it is it is at the door, man. It is at the, you know, uh, it's right there, man. Wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season. If need be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations. So we are very happy because, uh, uh, was it uh, Philippians 1 verse, let me start at 27. Only let your conversation be as it becometh the gospel of Yahweh Shai, that where I come and see you, or else be absent and may hear of your affairs that ye stand fast in one spirit with one mind striving together for the faith of the gospel. So this is the state that the Apostle Paul wanted uh, uh, to see uh, the brethren in, man. You know, so he kept uh, admonishing the, the, the Achyam. He kept uh, strengthening them through the spirit, man. You know, by all his epistles, all his letters, letters you know. This is very important, man. That's why the scriptures, uh, you know, comfort ye one another, you know, through the word of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man, through these scriptures, man, you know, and in nothing terrified by your adversaries, which is to them an evident token of perdition. Us coming together in the spirit is to them an evident token and a, a clear sign. The token is uh, is a sign of uh, perdition, which is destruction. But that is to them because they are their their grasp, you know, is is uh, you know the the strength of their grasp with the, that red claw, you know, is loosening, man. They can't have that tight grip anymore because they see that the spirit is freeing us out of this devil's uh, claws, man. Because we are in the hands of our enemy right now, man. Even in the in this in, in in you know mentally, you know, Esau had us in in, in chains, man. These, all these foolish philosophies, Christianity, you know, all these wacky, tacky Christians that Esau got, uh, you know, totally uh, in a war of ignorance, as, as uh, the scriptures say, man, thinking that they are at peace, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's always funny to me, man, that's why they have that, that uh, confused smile, you know, I pray for you. And or that 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 wickedness, that double double tongue, fork tongue type of love that they show. I'll pray for you, but yet you the undertone is like, man, the hell with you, man. Well, who do you think you are? But hey, it is what it is, man. Most of them are like that, man. So again, and in nothing terrified by your adversaries, which is to them an evident token of perdition. To them is uh, you know, they see, oh damn, and then these Israelites are waking up. We have the doors that can shut down in your usual, man. You know, they strike you from left to right. You know, they 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 put our put out our name as evil for the son of man's sake, man. For the because we come in the name of Yahweh Basham Yahushai, man. So we need to be happy, like the Book of Luke explains, man. 
You need to jump for joy that we are being slandered like this, man. Because we come in the spirit and power of Yahweh Basham Yahushai proclaiming the truth, which is the downfall of this wicked kingdom, the rise of our people, man. The return of Yahweh, uh, of, of the Heavenly Father, His Son, Yahweh Shai, to save His people. So, but to you of salvation, that of Yahweh. So, this is for us uh, a, a beautiful thing. But it comes to, uh, you know, we need to build, be built up in the spirit. For unto you it is given in the behalf of Yahweh Shai, the anointed, uh, Christ is anointed, Masayah, not only to believe on him, but also to suffer for his sake, having the same conflict which he saw in me, and now here to be in me. So we are in this, but we need to go to some things. You know, First Peter uh, 1 because it makes you a better judge. If you fall down, you know, oh, I shouldn't be doing that because that made me uh, stumble and fall. So now you're more careful. Plus, now you can instruct others to be more caref uh, careful, you know, to watch out, to be, uh, you basically are, are, are broadening their, their sight, their, their knowledge through the spirit, man. So First Peter 1, verse uh, 6, wherein ye greatly rejoice, because it's a beautiful thing that the things of Yahweh are being made known unto the children of Israel, man. Like in the book of Baruch, to roughly paraphrase it, man. Though now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations, that the trial of your faith, being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shai Masiach because it's, it's beautiful things in the eyes of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, even if you suffer wrongfully, man. It's it, it's a beautiful it's beauty in the eyes of the Lord if you keep your composure, you keep you don't make haste in time of trouble, you know, you you're possessing uh uh basically you you are showing the Lord that you are stable, you know, through his power, of course. You know, that you keep it together. You know, that you are focused on one thing. That's getting the hell out of this. You know, feeding the sheep of Yahweh Basham Yahushai. Strengthening your, your brethren, you know. Which are the sheep. And that you, uh, you know, you, you have one goal, you know. You, you press towards the mark, as the Apostle Paul said. So. So. Verse um, 8. Whom having not seen, ye love, and in whom, though now ye see him not, yet believing. So we have not seen uh, the Lord. We have not seen Yahweh, where Yahweh Shai. But we believe in Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. Whom having, and, and some, of course, in dreams, man. I'm not gonna, you know, but you know, not here in the in the in in the flesh. But we have faith in Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, and we believe that we are going to be saved out of this hellhole. And if, if we have to go out, you know, in the name of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, we believe that we are in a good in a good case, man. That we will be with the Lord, man. You know, that's why the Apostle Paul also was speaking about, you know, one side of me desires to be to get the hell out of this hellhole, but you know, it's not beneficial uh, for the sheep, man. Because, you know, this world is, uh, you know, it vexes you, man. It's filthy, it's, 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 it's polluted. And morally, you know, people are so low, man. It's, it's, man, everything, your food is polluted, the animals are depressed, everyone's depressed, man. That shows you that the, the ones that are ruling right now are totally uh, wicked, man. It's a reflection of their spirit, basically, man, that is, uh, you know, projected upon the people in the world, man. The negative vibration. Everyone's, even their own people are damn depressed, man. <laughs> and it's their kingdom right now, man. So that shows you that, you know, this, this, these people can't rule. They should be taken down. You know, Yahara Desa, you know, Yahara Desa is going to be ASAP, man. But hey, it's all on the clock of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. And we need to do our thing in the meantime, man. So flipping all the talents that you can flip, you know, and do as much as you can, man. You know, like Hebrews 4 and 1 says, so that you won't fall short, man. Uh, so you know, keep that in the, in the back of your mind. Being afraid to, to uh, you know, to have not done enough, basically, man. But, you know, keep on pushing, man. 
that just like the apostle uh, Ricardo also, also uh, you know, always brings out. Push on, man. So, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls, of which salvation the prophets have inquired and did. And, and search diligently who prophesied of the grace that should come unto you, searching what uh, or what manner of time the spirit of Yahweh Shai, which was in them, did signify when it testified beforehand the sufferings of Yahweh Shai and the glory that should follow. You know, and the servant is not greater than his master, man. You know, so and we have the, the Lord suffered, we're gonna suffer as well, man. Because what was it? Acts 14. Salah here. What was it? Yeah. Acts 14 and 22. Confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in, uh, continue in the faith. And that we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. You know? So... They were being exhorted, just like brothers are exhort, exhorting you today, man, from the apostles on down. Goes into, the exhorting goes into Parakaleo, to call one side, to one side, to call for summon, to address, speak to, you know, which may be done in the way of exhortation, entreaty, uh, comfort, instruction, to admonish, to exhort, so, you know, to warn, to give, give people, you know, a faith booster through the spirit, you know, when they see the video, you know, to, also to comfort, man. If brothers are down, you comfort them, uh, them to, uh, you know, also showing that you also suffer, man. You're going through some things, you make videos about it. Why do you think we make videos? Certain things, you go into the scriptures and the most I comforts you through the scriptures and puts a spirit upon you to make a video so that others that see it also may be uh, comforted because the, the scriptures do uh, speak about that to be continually with the godly man, you know, who, who, uh, who let me just stop butchering it and <laughs> jump in Sirach 37. Because we all go to this hell, man. Everyone has his, uh, of course, his lot. But everyone goes to hell, man. Sirach 37 and 12. But be continually with a godly man whom thou knowest to keep the commandments of the Lord, whose mind is according to thy mind. And will sorrow with thee if thou should miscarry. So, you know, we that we can support each other, man. Basically, spiritually put an arm around you, you know, and, and, and comfort you, man, through these words, man, also, you know, that we put out here. So, it's a very important thing to be together and also with a two or, or, or three or gathered in my name, there am I in the midst, you know. To roughly paraphrase the scripture, so Yahweh shines in the midst. That's why it's very important to not uh, forsake, uh, you know, the assemblies of the Achia, man. Be with the brothers, man. And I <laughs> already feel the difference, you know, uh, brothers here, and you immediately feel the difference, man, in the spirit. You're being boosted up, man. So that's how you see how important it is to dwell amongst. Uh, brethren that are like-minded man you really feel the, the boost in the spirit man <laughs> hey call all y'all about show me how shy man it's for real man but hey let me just go into this word so um back in it so to console and strengthen by consolation you see you're strengthening your brethren uh, into that uh consolation to that uh, um that that support man to receive consolation, be comforted. To encourage, strengthen. Exhorting and comforting and encouraging, man. To instruct and teach. You know? So that's basically... So... That is what we're doing, man. But um, let me just uh, wrap it up. <laughs> because uh, basically I went to the scriptures that I wanted to go to, man. Um, let me see... Yeah, man, because you can read the whole chapter, but you can read it for yourself. But basically, the point is, man, you know, we're going to go to some things and yet we have a beautiful, beautiful 
beautiful life to look forward to, man, if we continue in the faith, man. Because here we have no continuing city because we're looking for that continuing city to come, man. You know, the kingdom of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. But yeah, man, with that, I would like to say Shalom.